So in this tutorial, we'll be taking a look at how to take an object made up of multiple layers, turn it into a smart object, and then match it up to a dimensional image so that it looks like it's actually part of that image. To begin with, you have your file open, and then create a couple of layers. So I made a quick logo with a purple box, a yellow circle, and a text layer that says hi. Once you have your layers set up, you want to have them all three chosen in your layers box. So you can do that by clicking on the bottom one, holding shift, and then clicking on the top one. And then right click and choose, right click over the, uh, the empty part of the layer and choose convert to smart object. That'll pop all three of those into its own layer. So to make this look like our example, I know I'm going to need more than one copy of this smart object, so I'm going to drag this up into the top corner here where it's kind of out of the way. Hold down Command and Option and then click and drag to duplicate it. And then I'm going to zoom in so I can see closer what I'm doing. Now to match this to both sides of this square, let's deal with this face first. It's easiest I find if you lower the opacity of the graphic layer for a moment, so I'm just going to turn mine down a little bit so I can see that box that's behind there. And then with my move tool, I'm moving this over to match up. I'm looking at the bottom left hand corner. Then hit Command T to transform and hold down the Command key, which will let you individually move these different corners so you can match them up with the picture of the box. Alright, so that's matched up with the edges of the box, and that automatically gives it the perspective that it needs to look like it belongs to that object. I do, however, want to bring it in, shrink it down a little so that it's centered inside of that box panel. So I'm going to hold down the Option key, which means any transform I do from here will go from the center, and then click on that corner, hold down Shift so it'll do it to all the corners, and click and drag in. Hit enter to finalize, and there we have a corner side of the box. So let's do the other ones. I'm going to grab with my move tool, hold command and click on this one up here in the corner, hold down command and option to duplicate it as I click and drag, and then do the same thing over again. So I'm going to reduce the opacity of this layer just a tiny bit, line up one of the corners, hit command T to transform, and then just grab each one of these corner points and drag it to match up with the top of that box. And then hold down Option and Shift to click and drag in one of the corners towards, and it'll pull everything towards the center. Hit Enter when you're done. Okay, that's pretty good. One more. And I know I need a copy left for my mug, so I'm going to make one more copy. Turn the opacity down just a tiny bit and line up a corner, hit Command T, hold down Command, and move those points. Okay, now hold down Option and Shift, click and drag to move it in, and then hit Enter to finalize. That looks pretty good. So, just so you can see what the difference was, I'm going to return each of these layers to 100% opacity by command clicking on them and then changing the opacity slider. And when I do that, you can see it looks really cartoony and kind of like it's too bright, it doesn't really belong to that image. So, just for a second, I'm going to hide these three so we can take a look at this box. Now, the face on the right is darkest, so we know that the light's on the other side of the box. And on top, it's closest to the light, so it's brightest, and this one's kind of in the middle. So once we have our objects placed, we need to make it look like it's part of the object. And you can do that a couple of ways. First way is you can flip through your blend modes by holding down the shift key and then hitting plus multiple times, and seeing if there's a blend mode that just happens to do exactly what you want it to do. So a couple of these get really, really close, but it looks like they either change the color or um, 
some of the texture throws, shows through in some areas and some not. So I know blend modes in this case aren't going to work. Let's turn blend mode back to normal and just deal with opacity. So I want this side to look the darkest and have some of the cardboard texture show through. I'm going to lower my opacity till just kind of it looks right. This is one of those things where you have to just eyeball it and see what looks right. The one on the brighter side, I'm not going to reduce as low. So this darker layer was about 50. This one is about 60. And this one, which is going to be the brightest, I'm going to reduce only to about 79, 80-ish, somewhere in there. And now when I zoom back, it really looks like those images are stamped on the box.